What's happening, sports fans? How you doing? I am Kendrick, the sports guy. Good day to you. And former USC quarterback Caleb Williams had his pro day on Wednesday, and the Chicago Bears were in full effect. Checking out his performance. Make sure you like the video and leave a comment. The Chicago Bears, who are expected to draft Williams at number one, again, were out in full force on Wednesday to check out their potential new quarterback. We all, you all know that the Bears traded Justin Fields to the Steelers couple of days ago sometime last week and so now they've got their eyes set on Caleb Williams now there was many as nine representatives of the Bears out there including uh, general manager Ryan Poles assistant GM Ian Cunningham and head coach Matt Eberflus uh, again pro days what do they do they in their shirt they shorts and shirts and they basically just uh, whatever their position is they just just doing a couple of drills uh, Williams would throw some intermediate balls. He would throw some long balls, do some rollouts, all that. I was able to watch some of the videos on X, formerly known as Twitter. And uh, he looked, I mean, again, in shorts and shirts, he, he looked impressive. Now, there was some reaction on X from some people. Uh, we'll read some of those. I would say uh, from Clay Harbor, he would say that nothing crazy in Caleb's pro day. But what did I? What I did notice is he throws a very catchable ball, and his teammates love him. Not going to learn much in routes on air in t-shirt and shorts. The tape is what matters, and he has that. And he's talking when he says the tape, he's talking about his college game tape. Uh, another one uh, person on, on X, Max Markham, would say that release and touch on the ball is so smooth. Uh, another one, Dan Witterer would say, uh, Caleb Williams' last throw of the pro day will be running on a loop for the next few days. Now, that last throw was a deep ball to Brendan Rice, who was his former USC teammate, who is the son of Jerry Rice, and he is also a uh, NFL draft prospect. But there were some negative comments on here as well, and I'll just read one. One was from Blake at Soldier Field Building. He says, stay away from him, meaning Caleb Williams. Now, again, I did watch some of these uh, clips on X, and he looked good. Uh, again, but it is it's easy to look good in shorts and shirt and and, and, and a t-shirt with no defense uh, But he seemed to be able to to, to throw every route. Uh, he has a, a good arm this is his arm strength look pretty good uh, and so uh, I, I think he, he's gonna we'll see again Picking quarterbacks is, is kind of like you rolling the dice. You never know what you're going to get until you get them, really, no matter how much tape, no how, my, how many drills you see them do. Uh, now, he is listed at 6'1", 215 pounds, which is good size. Some people may think 6'1", is a little short, but I think that's good size for a quarterback. And his, his college resume speaks for itself. Uh, he led the FBS with 120 total touchdowns over the last three seasons. He's uh, won the Heisman Trophy. And uh, not saying that that's going to breed success at the NFL level, but that definitely helps. Uh, so the Bears, I think, are going to go all in. Obviously, they traded Justin Fields to do this. Uh, but they're setting, look like they're trying to set Williams up with some with some help on offense. They got DeAndre Swift. They signed the free agency. Uh, they just got Keenan Allen at wide receiver. So uh, I, I, we'll see what happens. So I'd like to know what you guys think about Caleb Williams. Uh, it, will the Bears take him number one? And uh, what do you think his upside is? You, you think he's going to be that guy? Uh, I'd like to know your thoughts on that. Make sure you leave a comment, like the video, make sure you subscribe to the channel, and make sure you click that follow button as well. I am Kendrick, the sports guy. We will see you on the other side and on the next report. I am out. Peace.